Honey, I can tell you're still feeling bad about what happened tonight, and you need to stop, okay? It's not your fault that you're the way that you are. I understand that me and all of our friends know that it's not your intent sometimes when you do that. Sometimes you just get excited about what you're talking about and what you're sharing and sometimes you end up going a mile a minute and I know that it's it's not because you don't care about what other people have to say. Sometimes you can't help the way that your thoughts work, you know? Baby, I've known you for a long time. And I've known you long enough to know the real you. And the real you is just as valid with your ADHD or not. You're still a worthy person. You're still a good friend. I know that it's something that you struggle with. Sometimes your your thoughts get jumbled up or you have a tough time staying on one topic. I know that you never mean to cut people off. You never mean to monopolize a conversation. And understand that sometimes concentrating is really hard for you. Focus is challenging and motivation. And it's easy to get really discouraged and to feel like, what's the point, right? But I'm going to tell you the point, okay? (laughs) The point is that you're one person trying your best to live your life. You only get to be you one time. And this version of you came with ADHD. Just like all the people out there that have ADD as well, you know? Honey, please listen to me. I'm serious. They didn't mind. They really didn't mind tonight. They were happy to hear what you had to share. You weren't oversharing. I know that you feel a lot of the time that you're oversharing. You're not talking right. You're not handling situations right. You're not focusing right. And just just take a breath and know it's okay. You can't be perfect, just like I can't be perfect, whether I have ADHD or not. Everyone has something, right? Our friends love you. (laughs) They forgive you. You heard what they had to say. They didn't even think you had anything to be forgiven for. You were just, you were just excited to talk about what was going on in your life. And... Sometimes when you, for lack of a better word, butt into a conversation, it's not out of malice. It's not because you don't care what the other person has to say. It's not because you, wow, listen to that wind out there. It's not because you're thoughtless or selfish, right, baby? It's literally because... I know that sometimes your thoughts are going a mile a minute. It's hard to calm down. And when you have a lot to say, it just it just builds up and it spills out. And we were happy to hear you. I'm always happy to hear you. You don't have to be perfect with me. I want you to be you. And if if that means that sometimes... certain things act up in you or you feel insecure you feel uncertain you feel broken you can still be you with me okay (sighs) 
Honey, <clears throat> I know that I don't have the same understanding that you do. And I could admit that because I haven't lived that. But I can empathize and I can do my best to put myself in your shoes and understand what you're going through. And it sounds hard. It sounds overwhelming. And I'm sorry that it's one of the cards you've been dealt. But I also know that you wrote this in your script for a reason. Even if we don't understand what it is right now. And you know I'm not on some hoity-toity bullshit. Oh, yeah, everything happens for a reason. I don't necessarily believe that. But there is a reason that you have this challenge in this life. And it's something that you have to learn. And you're doing really good. You're doing well. You're managing well. You've, you've seen your doctor. You're taking medication that works for you. You're not abusing your medication. You're doing your best in your workplace, in school, in your friendships, in, in your romantic relationship with me. All you can do is your best, okay? And I know that I can see it even right now sitting here looking at you. I can see the insecurity in your face. And I can tell that you feel rotten and you feel like you wrecked our night and you didn't. You didn't, okay? If I'm anything, I'm honest. And I'm being honest with you right now. I'm not here to stroke your ego. I'm not here to tell you what you want to hear. I'm here to tell you the truth. And the truth is that you're okay the way you are. I know that at work and at school, sometimes it's hard for you to pick up new information. Sometimes it's, it's hard for you to stay on task. Sometimes you start ten things and finish one. Everybody has those moments in life. I know that yours are a little bit closer in between because you have this difference about you that gives you a different set of challenges. And I want you to know that I get it. You're not a lesser person. You're not an annoying person or a frustrating person or a bad person. You are someone who's learning to live and who's learning to manage one of these challenges you've been given, right? I love you and I accept you. And that includes the challenges that you have. Sometimes you have trouble learning. Sometimes you have trouble communicating. Sometimes you have trouble in your your day-to-day -day commitments. Sometimes you have trouble being on time. And it, who gives a shit? It's okay. It's okay. You're human. You're a human being living a human experience. And I'm, I'm walking with you through it. And I know that sometimes I get frustrated. Just like sometimes you get frustrated with me. <laughs> but it doesn't change the way that I feel about you or the worth that I think you have. You don't have less worth than someone who doesn't have ADHD. It's up to you whether you see it as a gift or a curse. And it's okay if sometimes you, you see it as something different every day or in every situation. Some days you might handle it better than others. And that's fine. Right? Baby, what do you hate most about it? What bothers you the most? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I get that. Mm 
Mm -hmm. and, and see, that makes sense. I would too. <laughs> you don't have to be excited that you have what you have. But it's okay to be proud of yourself. It's okay to be yourself. It's okay to love the way that you love. And when shit comes up, we'll figure it out. When something needs to change, we'll change it. If, if something happens and you don't feel good about it, then, then we can talk about it. If you want, you can even send, like, a group text out to all of our friends and explain how you're feeling. Because I guarantee you that everyone that we saw tonight will tell you something similar to what I'm telling you right now. And that's that we love you the way that you are and it's okay. Chances are that they're probably not even thinking about it right now. They may not have even noticed. We are our own worst enemies, our own biggest critics. And for us misfits, sometimes we shred ourselves apart for what <laughs> corporate sheds, shreds us apart, the government shreds us apart. Humanity shreds us apart, society, so we don't have to do it to ourselves. Our lovers don't have to do it for us, our friends, the people we trust and that we're close to, okay? You're okay, and you're gonna be okay. We'll manage it together. <laughs> 